Hi everybody, it's Fragrant Jock here. I've not had an honest opinion for a while. Um, I was in London for a week and I've just been busy doing other things. Uh, you know what it's like. Um, sometimes things catch you up. Anyway, today's honest opinion is basically two alternatives to Tom Ford's Tobacco Vinny, which I think in my honest, honest opinion is they're very good. If not, one of them's probably better. And I would say the two of them are better value for money than having to shell out nearly £300 in tobacco vinny. If you like that kind of sweet... Tobacco vinny for me is very... There's, there's not a lot of tobacco. There is tobacco there, but it's a very sweet vanilla tobacco smell. It really is very sweet. Um, and it's quite strong. Tom Ford is, tobacco vinny is very, uh, the pro projection and the longevity is very strong. But these are two alternatives. One of them, both of them are different in a way, but kind of the same. But one of them's, I think, is better than tobacco vinny. Uh, money and price value and all the rest of it. Uh, projection and longevity and the other one is similar to it and it gets a few reviews that are similar uh, saying the similar thing but to me it kind of different there's a wee difference there and um, the first one I'm going to talk about is this one it's Al Haramain and it's Amber Oud and this is the tobacco edition now there's I think there's four editions of this there's a the tobacco that's the other two uh, there's the Amber Wood Rouge, that's basically, oh no, that's the Amber Wood Gold Edition, that's really nice, that is, I've used loads of that, it's a really, it's a fresh kind of lemon smell, it really, I think it, um, they say it's similar to Elba Pura um, by Zerkov, uh, it really is a lovely fragrance, I would say this is probably my favourite out the whole Amber Oud uh, series, the Amber Oud Gold Edition. This is a rouge, this is very similar to Baccarat Rouge. To me though, it's I think this is better. Uh, just as good longevity and projection, and you'll get that for about £50, so for a 60ml, which is really good. Um, the other one's the original Amber Oud, I've never tried it. Uh, and this is the one we're talking about today. This is the Amber Oud, and this is this is a tobacco edition. Come in a really great presentation. The bottles are really heavy. The boxes are nice. Uh, present presentation wise, are really good. Um, I think I paid about fifty pound for this off Fragrance X. Um, I seen a few reviews. So I thought I'll get it. I do like tobacco vinny. Um, I've got a few alternatives. Uh, one of them's a kind of wax, a skin thing you just rub on, which I got, um, which is quite good, but to me it doesn't last long. But this does. But to me, this is a wee bit different for tobacco from tobacco vinny. It is similar, very similar. But for to me, this is more tobacco and honey. This is like really got a prominent honey smell off of it. Off it, it really is. Whereas. Tobacco vanille is more the vanilla. This, to me, is more honey. That's what I get it off my skin anyway. Projection, longevity is good. Really good smell. Very appealing compliment getter. Um, for the price, I paid, as again, £50 for this. Um, it really is worth it. It's not identical tobacco to tobacco vanille. As I said, this is more honey-based than... Um, the vanilla, in my opinion, but it is very similar. The other one is a KDJ one, and this is their version of tobacco vini, and this is potent. This is a 50% oil. Now, this is almost identical to, to tobacco vini, but to me, it's more stronger and better value for money, because you'll get this for... Uh, by the time I get the discount, I got this for something like £27. It's an absolute steal for 50ml. It's a really lovely smell. And absolute identical. But to me, it's a wee bit stronger. But this is like the original tobacco vinyl. This is 
you know, tobaccos in the, in the background, but it's more vanilla tobacco, this. The amber oud, the amber oud tobacco edition, to me, is more honey. But it is nice, it doesn't smell cheap. I know some people say it smells similar to Jubilation 25 by Amarage. There is a hint of that, but it's not exactly the same. But it is a nice smell. But, as I say, these two alternatives to tobacco vanille, I totally rate. They're right up there. If you don't want to shell out the £300, this is two to go for. If you want more of the honey, go for that one. If you want more of the original, go for the KDJ. And that whole line of tobacco, eh, amber oud, eh, gold and the eh, rouge and the eh, tobacco edition, and there's the original, is well worth it. If you want to try, these three are well worth trying. The, the gold edition is absolutely superb for the summer and it's a great projector and longevity wise it's you know you could wear it throughout the year but it's got the lemon and it's more fresh um the rouge is obviously similar to baccarat rouge but to me it's a wee bit more appealing you don't get that kind of hospital kind of plastic kind of smell off it this is a more appealing smell and as i say the tobacco edition is well worth it as well um but two alternatives to to tobacco vanille in my opinion, two good alternatives. Anyway, I hope everybody's safe and well. Bye for now.